Hi everybody, this is Sithi Readings and hi Taurus. Let's see what messages are going to show up for you. In case this reading resonates with you, Taurus, there will be a link in the description box to the extended. Let's have a let's have a look at the messages that want to show up for you. This is for Taurus, Sun Moon Rising and Venus signs. This is for Taurus, Sun Moon Rising and Venus signs. Some of you could be waiting on something, okay? Monk. Light attribute, selfless devotion and single-minded dedication to spirit. Okay, a lot of you are trying to detach from something, um, Taurus, what I see here. It's, it's more so like being in the present moment kind of an energy. Some of you could be more spiritually aligned now or... You could be into tarot, religion, spirituality, okay? I, I do see a certain level of detachment here. Um, you know, it just looks like you're trying to do the right thing, which is great, of course, okay? Let's see. Mm, too many cards. So you have here angel helping those in need with no expectation of return. Um, child magical. Exor. Exor. I can never pronounce this word. So I'm not going to try. Exorcist. Please don't come at me. We have healer. Passion to serve others by repairing the mind, body, and spirit. Ability to help transform pain into healing. So if you really notice that there is this, like, I love your energy, by the way. I love your aura right now, Taurus. It's like your energy is very light, lighthearted, um, very much um, connected to spirit, okay? Um, you're trying to detach from something, though. Um, I do feel like you're very helping, very caring, and I, I do see that you may choose to help somebody or you recently helped somebody um, out of pure kindness and compassion, okay? Um, but one thing that you need to know, Taurus, is that in trying to care for others, sometimes we forget about ourselves. So you need to make sure that you're not doing that. You need to make sure that even if you're showing up for other people, you're showing up for yourself as well, you know? Um, so I do feel like this is like seeing the beauty in little things in life, enjoying little things in life. If you feel like your energy is a little bit too... Uh, uh, stuck in something I feel like the message for you here is to go out for a walk or look at everything and enjoy it okay um, there's really something here about being spiritual okay because it's like in this energy here you're you're freeing yourself from something that's toxic or an impulse and you're like, no, I'm not going to feed into this energy anymore because you're more enlightened or you're trying to be more in the present moment, okay? So I love your energy. I love your energy. But at the same time, um, I feel like there's a need for balance, okay? Even if you're trying to create what you're creating, there's a need for balance between that side of you and the practical aspects of things. So I really do do like it. Okay, your energy is amazing. Um, you're, you're coming from a place of like, I don't know. I love your energy. Damsel and oh, prostitute, light attribute, accentuates the challenge of surviving without negotiating the power of your spirit and understanding the nature of healthy romance inspires you to rely on yourself. Now, this is strange because both of these energies are very different, okay? Um, one thing I'm going to point out here is that I see many different energies here um, about your heart chakra. I see your crown chakra. I see solar plexus, okay? I also see throat chakra energy. So for a lot of you, it's like different aspects of yourself here that I see. But 
I think here that spirit is saying that you need to stop focusing on the material world so much, which you were maybe in the past. Some of you feel like you gave yourself away in a situation um, in which there wasn't much return and you do feel depleted because of it. So that's why you need to keep in mind that it's good to show up for somebody, transforming pain into healing. But you also have to not do it to a point that you feel depleted and you feel like the other person is just taking, taking and taking from you, Taurus. Okay, Damso, understanding the nature of healthy romance. I feel like you, you, you're at a point here where um, it's like there's something about a relationship that has taught you things. And it has taught you many things, okay? Um, how to take care of yourself. Some of you have also adjusted adjusted your expectations from a relationship. I, I, don't, I don't see you expecting too much though, okay? Um, but you do like for a partner who's caring and who's there for you. If you're a female, maybe you like a partner who can provide for you or be there for you. Because maybe in the past, you were the one who was doing a lot of work in the relationship. And, you know, by that, I mean, you know, the woman sometimes gets really tired of giving, giving, giving. And it doesn't always have to be money, even though that's a huge part of the equation as well. But it can just be somebody showing up. Um, it can just be somebody loving you um being there for you okay the damsel in you know the the, the uh, sorry the damsel in this situation also means that for example you just need help with something small and the other person is able to be there for you you know it's it's very stressful when we are showing up for somebody and when we need them even if it is for just for something little but they're not there it, it breaks our heart and we feel depleted okay um i do feel like some of you like for a partner to be very caring towards you and maybe you didn't get that in the past but it's like in this energy here i'm also seeing you adjusting your expectations and i see a lot of healing that is taking place some of you could already be a mother okay um or some of you could receive a message from your mother so let's see what tarot messages want to show up for you, Taurus. What tarot messages want to show up for you? I'm also going to pick um, love notes from your person. So yeah, stay tuned until the end for that. But let's see. Let's see. Oops. Queen of Swords, a certain level of detachment here. I protect what matters to me. You're protecting your peace. Showing up for yourself. This is a detached approach to something more logical, practical. Queen of Swords is somebody who's not afraid of saying what she, she means and what she wants. Um, but she can at times also intimidate others, okay? Somebody has put you in this position where you feel the need to defend yourself, okay? What's helping or hindering you is the seven of wands. I actively hold true to my values. Yeah, I feel like you, need, you, you feel the need to defend yourself against something and your boundaries are up, okay? You're not wanting to sacrifice and compromise anymore. Um, a certain level of detachment here that I see in your energy for sure for sure let's see king of swords is here you're making a strategic decision about something knight of swords some of you are dealing with uh, libra gemini or an aquarius or you may have these placements in your chart right off the bat too many people you have too many court cards and too many court cards in a reading can indicate more than one person, by the way. Okay, so is there more than one person involved in the situation? You tell me. Mm hmm. Sorry. Oh, that was my mic. Um, I see you. I see you achieving something. Um, I see you very confident in the future here. There could be a fire sign or an air sign approaching you, Taurus, which is 
Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, and Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, okay? I definitely feel like somebody's showing up. And this is nice because even if you're a guy watching this, I feel like a lot of you have been holding back or you've been more in a feminine energy because you're tired of doing. So it's like the masculine energy is now approaching you. Making empowered choices moving forward. A lot of you in the past maybe decided to focus on your money, your goals, your business, um, or just making choices that feel more empowering for you as a person. Um, so that is great, of course. We have the King of Wands here. I am successful in all that I do. Um, Knight of Swords here. I choose my battles carefully. I feel like moving forward, Taurus, you have become very careful with who you engage with, who you talk to. Um, you're not really willing to open up um, just like that, okay? I, I definitely see you taking your time or maybe just wanting to take your time with something, which is fine, of course. I see a more pra pragmatic and practical approach towards something. I also see you more confident than before, by the way. So the moon card. Um, sometimes you may be feeling confused or you may be feeling emotionally a little bit scattered. But Spirit is saying that your intuition is serving as a guide. Um, it's not working against you. It's working for you. Okay. So let's see. Ace of Cups for who's coming towards you, Taurus. I welcome new love and I trust what it brings. There is a new beginning in love here that I see for you, Taurus. A new start. A new beginning. Mm hmm with the Ace of Cups. Two of Wands, a decision. Um, I feel like a lot of you are focused on your long-term decision-making. You're trying to focus on what makes you happy, where you want to be in the future, you know, what choices you're making right now that can represent um, or, you know... Um, your future choices. Ooh, the two of cups showed up here. So we have, I'm worthy of the deepest kind of love. Um, so you have the ace of cups and the two of cups. I'm definitely seeing that there is a lover coming towards you. Taurus, there is a lover here that I see in your energy. So let's have a look. What's the two of cups about? What's the Two of Cups about? I feel like you're ready to move on from something, okay? Um, a lot of you are in this energy where you're not really willing to fight for something that seems petty and something that leaves you feeling more drained. Um, so I like this energy. There's a sense of transition here, out with the old, in with the new. Uh, you're moving on, letting go. Some of you could also be traveling, okay? So let's have a look. Five of Wands is your challenge. Um, you're feeling resistance in regards to something. Um, I think here that the Five of Wands is your challenge because you've been fighting for yourself, but you don't feel, um, you don't, you're not feeling good about it. Ten of Wands. A lot of you, the message here is to let go of some sort of a past disappointment with the Five of Cups because it's only burdening you with the Ten of Wands even further. Taurus, a lot of you really need to pick your battles here, okay? Because from the 5 to the 10, that pain is escalating real quick. You never know what you're engaging in, what you're giving your energy to. Spirit is saying, have a look at what you need to release. Um, you have to, this is the time period where you have to 
uh, let go of burdens, not add to your burdens. Okay. Seven of Pentacles, your person's energy. This is somebody who, who's thinking about you, maybe even thinking about investing into the situation with you, Ace of Swords. Yeah, there's somebody here who's going to communicate with you. Seven of Cups. Um, I see you having options in love. Um, so your love energies right now, Ace of Swords, Seven of Pentacles, Seven of Cups. I definitely feel like there's more than one person coming towards you. Um, and whoever is coming towards you wants to really communicate and sort things out. I do feel like they've been lately feeling very confused about what to say to you. It's almost like this person is bringing in this energy of, I have so much to say that I don't even know where to begin and what to say, <laughs> you know? Any advice for Taurus from this reading? After this, I'm going to pick some messages from your person. So let's have a look. Advice for you is to, um, what is something you value, Taurus, in relationships, in yourself, in your money situation? It's, it's like your actions have to be in alignment with your values. Um, and there's a need for you to be strategic in regards to something. Um, maybe there's something here that's coming to an end, okay? But Spirit is saying that you have to look at this ending as an opportunity to move forward. You have to see the truth, even if the truth is, um, it's hard to accept sometimes. You have, to be, you have to be willing to look at it that way. Let's see some of the messages from your person. Actually, um, let's see. I'm going to also pick some cards for um, your person for the extended first. So let's see. In your extended, I'm going to have a look at your past person's energy, your new person's energy, your blessings and your challenges. Something is about to be revealed to you, okay? Your overall energy in love has something to do with uh, a situation being revealed, okay? So this is your pause person's energy. This is their feelings for you and their future actions. If you're dealing with somebody new or interested in a new person, this is them their feelings for you, and their future actions. This is your overall outcome in love and your advice. And the bottom of the deck here is the Hierophant, which is you. <laughs> uh, you're, you're going to be the main focus here, especially in your love life, okay? But we will see how things are going to play out. So I'm going to reveal those cards in the extended, but for now, let's see what are your love notes saying. Hoping for a better future. There's somebody here who hopes for a better future with you. Let go of stress and you will get what you want. Some of you are very stressed these days because you're too focused on what's going to happen next. And Spirit is saying that you have to relax next year. Next year is going to be very significant. So I feel like this is like all messages that are related to you. So let's see, um, show me some messages for the person Taurus may be connecting with. Look at this, text or call coming in. I definitely see this energy of um, somebody wanting to talk. They will text or call you. But yeah, look at this. There's another one here that says, I'm afraid of rejection. So maybe this person, um, maybe this person wants to show up here for you, Taurus but they're afraid of rejection. They don't know what you're gonna say. Okay, um, so that's why maybe they've been feeling confused. All right. But yeah, it does look like there's gonna be communication between you and this person. So that's about it, Taurus. Those were the messages that showed up for you. Give this video a like and subscribe to my channel and check out the link in the description box to the extended. Um, in the extended, we will have a look at your past person, new person, your blessings, challenges, your overall outcome in love, and that will be linked in the description box if you're interested, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.